Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Wardrobe from Scratch 2. And today, we'll be talking about wardrobe essentials and where you can find them. Alright, so this list consists mainly of the core of my current wardrobe. So essentially, if I had to run away from home one day and I could only pack one suitcase, these are the stuff that I'll definitely be bringing along with me. So the key consideration here will be that everything in this list has to be able to work well together. So essentially, you can take any top, any bottom or any shoe and you'll find something that still works out for you. Oh, don't worry, if you're looking for examples of how this will work, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll have a couple of looks ready for you. Oh, and before we begin, uh, I have to mention that I live in Singapore and it's hot, like really really hot so I'm omitting stuff like winter wear from this list so things like trench coats, sweaters and stuff like that so with that out of the way, let's go! Everybody wears t-shirts and as simple as they seem, they might get a little complicated just because of the different colours and silhouettes but I would say the bare bones minimum you should have is at least a black and a white blank tee. So with this, you could easily throw on any pair of trousers and you know, you could just roll with the look. Other than that, just have fun with it man. Uh, it's honestly pretty hard to go wrong with t-shirts so. I usually get my blank t-shirts from Uniqlo just because they're affordable and of pretty decent quality for the price. Besides, they always go on sale, especially the Supima cotton ones. So once you get that base down, maybe you could start venturing into stuff like vintage tees such as, you know, these. They're pretty easy to find nowadays, especially with, you know, the rising popularity. So give it a go if you feel like. Alright, so smart trousers I feel are a must-have in every guy's wardrobe because of how versatile they are. They can be both dressed up and dressed down. Personally, for me, I usually opt for a pair of slim straight black trousers for a start. So if you don't own any pair of trousers and are looking to get into it, perhaps you could try the Uniqlo Easy Ankle Pants just because, you know, for one, they're really affordable and they're really comfortable. And I had my own pair for quite a couple of years now and they're still holding up pretty, pretty well. And besides, they fit great. Aside from that, you could check out thrift stores. Don't sleep on thrift stores. You can really find some cool gems there. And if you're balling, you could probably check out brands like Acne Studios, Ami or Our Legacy for some more premium options. Denim jeans. Everyone and their mother owns a pair of denim jeans. There are many washes. I personally see myself opting for either a light wash pair or a black pair. I usually don't go for indigo just because I feel indigo is in this like really weird space where it's really close to black but it's not black so you know, indigo is a no-go. But aside from that, uh, in terms of fit, I usually go for a straight fit pair just because I feel it's more versatile and less trend driven. Right now, I usually go for a pair of Levi's 501s. You could get them brand new, but I would suggest look on secondhand sites for a used pair or perhaps even a vintage pair because at times you can really find them for a lot cheaper as compared to buying them brand new. Since this is an essentials list, I would generally recommend that you start off with something more plain and simple because you know it makes it more wearable even for I guess more formal occasions as well. If you're feeling rich and you want to ball out, you could check out brands like APC or Acne Studios and if you're feeling rather adventurous, you could try on a pair of helmet length painted denim on sites like Grill. So boots, this are definitely a personal preference for myself but it's also something I recommend you guys give a go. I think boots can very easily give a little bit of that oomph to an outfit. There are many different kinds of boots but personally I usually go for a heeled pair of boots. The ones I have here are the SLP wide harness boots. If you are looking for your first pair, personally I would recommend you go for a black pair of boots in leather. Yeah, just because it makes it a lot easier for you to style and it's a lot easier for you to work with. So where to find them? If you're new and you're just starting out, you know, you just want to try out the look, I would say ASOS is a pretty good resource, but my advice would be to only buy them on sale just because personally I feel they are not worth the full retail price. With boots, I would generally say it's kind of like a you get what you pay for situation, especially with the materials and construction. But of course, many of you like myself, I'm pretty sure are not willing to drop bombs just for a pair of boots. So what I would suggest is shortlist a couple of pairs of boots that you like and then look for them on the secondhand market. Sites like eBay, Depop or Grill, you know, the usual ones are a pretty good starting point for this. This is definitely another one of my personal favorites. I think it's something different from what most people are wearing, at least in Singapore right now. So 
these usually come high-waisted and it's great because they elongate your legs and they make you look taller so it works wonders for a short guy like myself and besides these are really really easy to style as long as you treat them as a regular pair of trousers it's just a little touch of detail with the flares at the bottom in terms of where to find them I was lucky enough to be able to inherit quite a few pairs from my grandfather's closet so perhaps you know it's your turn to try to raid your grandparents closet you never know what kind of gems you might find otherwise a pretty affordable option I would say would be the Wrangler Ranchers and of course the secondhand market is always an option so alternatively you could also thrift for a pair of trousers that are way too big for you and then bring them to a tailor having a base piece that's huge is great just because it means that your tailor has a lot more room to work with for this one, you're basically looking for something that is not your regular plain Oxford shirt. You just want something that you know can give a little bit of added detail to your outfit. You could experiment with things such as prints and textures or different cuts such as a cropped boxy shirt or even detailing such as you know simple paneling on your shirts. Okay, I know in your mind you're probably thinking like Yo, what the heck, it's not that easy to find interesting shirts, they are not expensive but, but what I like to do here most of the time is to do some simple DIYs on thrifted shirts So for example, for this shirt over here, I basically, it's basically a simple white button down shirt which I cropped to give it a more boxy crop silhouette For this one over here, what I did was I created a panel at the bottom with some spare fabric that I had left Also added some secret burn just to give it a little bit of added detail so the inspiration for that piece came from something I saw from Andy Milanista and the number 9 cigarette tea so just get creative have fun with it you know just create something Alright, so caps and beanies. This is usually for me when I am very lazy to do my hair or for the days where I have a very bad hair day just like today. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. Essentially, it's just mainly for convenience. Um, aside from that, you could also use it to add a pop of color to your outfit if you need to. Um, for caps, usually I go for baseball caps just because I think they fit the best. You can literally find these anywhere, like literally anywhere. But if you feel like balling or getting a more interesting cap, brands you could check out are I think Alix and A Cold War. They make pretty interesting caps. As for beanies, I see most people opting for Noah. Of course, it's a little more pricey than what you find on sites such as ASOS. Tote bags, these are definitely an absolute essential for me because I carry a lot of stuff when I go out. I usually bring along a water bottle, so a side bag or a crossbody bag is usually too small for me. And the man is thirsty, so he needs his water. Right now, we'll go for one that is big enough to store at least a laptop just because I'm going to school soon and I tend to do a lot of work outside. You need a bag that's big enough to carry your stuff. If you're looking to get a tote bag, I would say honestly you can get it anywhere but if you're willing to spend a little bit more money for something that's slightly higher quality, I would highly recommend this APC tote bag. I got this recently as a gift and I've been carrying it almost every day. Surprisingly, for the small size, it's big enough to carry a lot of stuff and it's pretty sturdy so I'm pretty sure this will last for quite a long time. 